a shopping guide of what you need when you first get a rabbit or maybe you already have a rabbit and you just need to refresh what you actually need if you're going shopping. And I, I'm a shopaholic so that's why basically I'm doing this video. Everything you need to buy in a pet store will be in this video. So let's get started. First thing that you'll need is some food. I have this, my food in this container. I use this food, which is selective. And I also mix it up with this food, which is oxbow. This is for little rabbits, this is for adults. And I mix it up because she's not a little rabbit, but she's not an adult either. The second thing you'll need is hay. Here I have a huge box of hay. The best hay you can buy is probably gonna be oxbow hay, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's Timothy hay for small. Now, next you're gonna need a water bottle or a water container where you're gonna give your rabbit food. And since rabbits need a lot of food and Kiwi uh, tends to tip over her water bowls, I bought her a gravity feeder. Now, a foot dish is optional. Usually natural way for rabbits to eat is just to sprinkle some food all over your cage. I know it's kind of messy, but then the rabbit will have fun eating it and it really, really is good for them. So this is really optional. Next, you'll need a litter box. Basically, I took this litter box right out of Kiwi's cage, so I'll be really, really careful. So basically, you need a litter box for rabbits to be litter trained, and then this is gonna be much easier for you to clean out the cage. You just have to take out the litter box. You also need a hay rack. As you see, this is not a hay rack. This is from a container store. It's just a little thing. I don't even know what this is, but this is majestic. I love this so much. So for the litter box, you will need some litter. Obviously, here's a huge container for litter. For me, uh, it has a bunch of a bunch of litter. Very important to encourage your bunny to go litter. like me you will get some bedding for your bunny's litter box because it makes it softer and much funner and it's just a great thing to have on hand next you will need a carrier here is kiwi's carrier it's pink when you go to the doctor for when you just transport your rabbit I have a playpen for her downstairs, it's like a play area plus her hutch, and I take her in the carry instead of carrying her in my hands. Next you will need a cage. Now don't buy one of those cages in the pet stores because they're way too small and I'm pretty sure if you've done your research you should know that. Don't know this, you probably don't know the exact way for caring for rabbits so I suggest do more research. You use playpens. Hutches are not that great, but they're pay, I guess, especially if you connect it to a playpen. So yeah, hutch is not very great, but it's okay. But usually the pet store hutches are not good. The DIY options are really good. My bunny lives in a DIY cage and she absolutely loves it. And it's pretty inexpensive, but the best solution if you don't want to get your hands dirty and you don't want to pay a lot is a playpen. Then you will need something like this, a fleece, to uh, line your rabbit's cage or playpen with. Don't use bedding because it will encourage your bunny to not use the litter box and just poop everywhere. But however, fleece is really, really great. Okay, next thing is the toy. These are toys and chews. Um, there, this is like a Timothy uh, carrot and this is like a corn husk. You can also get these balls for dogs, cats, and other animals. This is actually a ball for infants. And our great options are these uh, wood chews. They're great. Another great thing are baby chains, just like this ball. Uh, they're all baby toys and rabbits absolutely love great baby 
choice. You might want to consider getting bendy bridges because bendy bridges are amazing and toys like this where your rabbit can hide it's a really, really great toy for your rabbit to hop in and out of, also on top. Okay, so you will obviously need to bunny-proof your room, so cord covers are option unless you want to just put away all your cords somewhere. Okay, now going on to treats. We have a huge box of treats here. It has a bunch, bunch of treats as chews in here too. We have some apple sticks as chews. We have this giant, giant crocodile as a chew. We have a lot of dog treats and biscuits. Uh, they're really healthy treats and they're much better than those yogurt drops. Now, no matter how short your rabbit's fur is, it'll need grooming. So definitely have a brush. I brush her with this brush and I use these nail clippers. They're all from Petco. They're great, actually. Now, I don't have any medical supplies right now on hand, but I have some vitamins, and you will need a medical emergency kit for your rabbit. You can buy them on Amazon, as I said. You can just Google um, pet emergency kit, and yeah, it's a great thing to have on hand. You can also research how to use it. Uh, we'll be doing a video on that. Now also consider getting a tunnel for your rabbit because rabbits love tunnels. It's going to be a great toy for it. Also, you will need a um, hideout. I made this one myself for her as you see a wrapped in paper and she loves shredding it, absolutely loves shredding it. And you'll need to have two holes because rabbits feel much secure. And then I put some blankets in there, some hay. You can just get buy her a cardboard box and then cut out some holes. You don't have to buy those expensive Heidi houses, but if you want to, you absolutely can. Okay guys, that was it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really hope I helped you with your shopping list. Also, I did a shopping list in a paper form so you can print it out and take it with you to the pet store or just have it on hand. So check in the description and you can download it on your computer. So it's awesome. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my last videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.